friends, Romans, concrete men, lend me your ear. And welcome to the joy of concrete. That's a fun little opening, isn't it? Uh, today, today is one of those days when we take a look at how much plastic I have accumulated rummaging in the recycle bin. A bunch of plastic. Oh, and sorry, before we jump right into it, uh, welcome. If you're a new person, welcome. Welcome here. We're going to make something out of concrete today. We're going to try to make it really easy and fun. And if you're a person who's been here before, hello. Hello again. Thank you for coming back. Uh, I hope I don't disappoint you. <laughs> I hope I don't disappoint you. But so what was I... What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Plastic. I've got all this plastic. I've got so much plastic. What are we going to do with the plastic? Well, first of all, where'd I get all this plastic? I got it from a bunch of stuff. I got it from that time I ate those seaweed snacks. I love them, but sure you accumulate these things. Uh, what was this? Tofu. Tofu and seaweed is like. Man, plastic city, but I love it. Tofu, tofu. Some sort of biscuit. Banana chips, I love those banana chips. Anyway, you get the picture, a bunch of plastic and, and a hobby. Making concrete, that's a hobby of yours and mine that we both, that's something we share. So here's a fun thing. Here's a fun exercise to do. Go around your house, find these single use plastics and whip them up into something awesome. Should that be a cut scene? Whip it up into this, it's awesome. And then we cut back here and we're back into the action. But that was a cut scene, we jump forward to like, a finished thing. Okay. Look at this. Where do we start? I don't know. What do we want to make? What do we want to make out of concrete? A fun little thing, a gift for someone. Maybe it's something we need. Is there something you need right now? If there is something you need, tell me in the comments below. We'll make one for you. But if there's nothing you need, you know what lots of people need? Little dishes for things. And well, the you know, most single-use plastic is for food, lots of food stuff, uh, food that you buy. And so, and it comes in, so like food comes in a dish, food comes in a bowl, food comes in some kind of thing. So yeah, lots of them are for food. Uh, not saying that we're going to make something for food. You could, but we're going to make just, uh, we're going to make a bowl. We're going to make a dish. Out of what? PVC number three. Put that there. P E T E. P E T E number one. Another number one. Ah, PP. PP5. These are my favorite. Polypropylene. What is this one? Uh, <laughs> this one just is a recycle symbol with Korean stamped in the middle. So good luck figuring that one out. What's this? PET number one, another number one. Ah, another number five, Ziploc containers. Yeah, these are great. Really great. Number five, polypropylene, favorite plastic. Ah, oh, polypro P P polypropylene. Polypropylene I like because it's got a lot of give. Very forgiving. Fun to work with. Uh, but what are we gonna work with? I don't know. I feel like I need to use up these. And so let's just figure this out real quick. Hey, there we go. One of these and one of those. There's a little ball. Cool? Not cool. That's too heavy. 
Aye, aye, here it is. Here it is, match made in heaven. That's actually pretty good. Shoot. Thought I had this all figured out, but that's not bad. What's it bumping on? Uh, I wonder. It's the same size. I wonder if I could cut this and push it through. Or, hmm, what are we going to do here? Let's get this figured out. So, this. Hmm, could that work? Get two of those in there. That's tight. This looks like a ball that's going to break. Go for it though. Well, let's push our luck. Let's push our luck, everyone. Okay. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? We'll get this. When I get these in here, it's gonna make a crazy super thin bowl. How are we gonna get this in there? Concrete's gonna have to flow. We can do this. Is this gonna stay stuck? Please. Pour in through there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Boom. Okay, let's see. I need something. I need something. I need a oil. What's this made out of? Polypropylene, probably. No, number two, HDPE. HDPE, that's a great one. Uh, HDPE, that's a great one. HDPE, that's a great one. Sharpie, that's a great one. What's this plastic? I don't know. These things are kind of go through too. What's the alternative? Refilling a marker? Maybe, hey? Huh? Okay, but I love you, Sharpie. So maybe a really nice refillable Sharpie. Okay. Draw. That's our outside outside. Where do you guys go? You two turkeys. This is perfectly perfectly centered, except let's not measure it. Okay, there we go. Shh. Sorry, no talking during this part. I'm sorry. I was really concentrating and there was like a lot of silence there. I forgot. I forgot you're watching. You're watching. Always watching. Judging. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, so I drew this uh, little, it's an outline of where we're gonna stick everything down. We're getting there. This is gonna take a little bit. Buckle up. Let's cut. Oh, now we can move along a little quicker. Still gotta be careful cutting. I'm just gonna go like this and like a laser. I'm like a laser. I'm like a laser. Come on. There we go. I've been getting this on tape, camera. 
Come on. Just about there, laser. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. Like a laser. Like a laser. And yes, my friend. Like a laser. We're almost there. I got to take the gloves off. Oh, can't wear gloves when you're working with tape, with two-way tape. Gloves are coming off, two-way tape. Okay, let's do this. A little better, a little better angle. Let's do this. Yeah, that is better. Maybe up just a tiny more. Okay, boom. Sorry about that, folks. I think I had a stinker angle going. So we're gonna run, I'm gonna use two-way tape, to stick down. How are we gonna do this? It's gonna be a real mess. Let's get our, well, let's get our cutting board. Big reach. There's the cutting board. And we're gonna do this. This long. Oh, I think I got it. We go like this. Okay. Just got a fancy. Oh, geez, it's doing it again. There we go. Oh. This stuff's sticky. Okay, here we go. I stuck the tape down, kind of like this. This is a real tutorial. Now I'm gonna cut. Cut, 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 cut. Still with me. No. I need two way tape that's just little. Like a little wouldn't be any cheaper though. No problem. I guess I'll just use this two-way tape. So what am I using? Two-way tape. What is this two-way tape? This two-way tape is Outdoor Carpet Tape by 3M. Very proud sponsor of Mr. Concrete Concrete and all my, all my work. 3M, thank you for all the help you've given us over the years. You are an amazing, uh, you're amazing. Uh, we appreciate everything you do. And you know what? Honestly, I couldn't be here. I couldn't be here without you. Really, I couldn't. All of the different tapes I've used over my life. Oh, 3M, I owe you. I owe you so much. But hopefully, hopefully this is enough. Please just take the fact that I'm thanking you publicly as, as payment for all the good you've given me. You're so good to me, 3M. And I think I'm falling in love with you all over again. No, tape's amazing. I love it. Don't you love it? I love it. But, lots of plastic. What do you do with that? 3M, what are you doing about it? Oh, it's plastic. You got all your films. 3M's got lots of like, film things, plastic films and like veneers and whatnot. Okay, here we go. Thanks 3M. Thank you for the tape. There we go. Outdoor carpet tape. I love it. If you start using it, you're gonna love it too because of its stickiness. It's the best part about it. Very sticky. Okay. Number one, coming down and it is in place, pushing it. Oh, 
Okay, it's in place. I'm pushing it down. Maybe that's premature. I don't know. Just gotta move. Sometimes you just gotta move. Let's on to the next one. So we, what did we do? Pull it like this. Get this cutting board back in place. I like this. Take a little thing. Man, I actually, there we go. I can find it difficult to talk while I'm doing this. Keep going. Keep going. You following along? You doing this too? You're not. Are you? Are you? You could be. Well, if you are, thank you. And if you're not, you could be. You could do this. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of what I'm doing is to show you you can do this too. We can do this too. You can do this together. We can do this together. We can do this together. Moving right along. Okay. Still going. I think this is faster than the first one. Get, I'm getting faster at this. The problem is the next time I do this, I'm gonna forget again. I don't do it regularly enough. But I'm I'm thinking about being more regular. <laughs> What do you think, everyone? Should I be more regular with the making of homemade plastic molds? I kind of love it. I kind of love it, but it is. Oh, okay, coming in. It's not easy. It's easy. It's not easy to talk while you're doing it. Okay, close up our knife. I'm gonna use the knife to so push down the tape in between there. Like that, like that. Outdoor carpet tape, I think is water, waterproof too, which is kind of important, I guess, working with concrete. We're gonna pour concrete in here. One more, one more everyone. Are you bored? I'm not. And if you were doing this too, you wouldn't be either. Wait, wait, did you say you were bored? Sorry to put words in your mouth. But I feel like, why would you? Why would you want to watch me do this when you could do it? You could do it. You don't have to watch from the sidelines. You can do this. Easily. Are you doing it? I think you are. Okay, shoot. Let's flip that over. Oh man, it's stinky. But that's why it's good. Okay, I'm gonna press that down. Keep going, here we go. Moving quick. Sometimes, having it stick to your fingers. Concrete connection. Yes. Keep going, keep going. Moving quick, I wanna to get to the fun part. This is fun, but I'm tired of this now. I wanna to get to the pouring of the concrete. Don't you? 
I'm ready to see it. I want to see it done now. I'm like, I want to, I'm ready to see it all made. Shoot. Okay. Oops. That's okay. Come on. We're still going. Just about there. Slam it. And I think that's it for knife work. Thanks, Olfa. Thanks, Olfa. You're the greatest. The greatest X-Acto knife. The greatest utility knife anyone could ever ask for. Olfa. The artist's knife. Thanks, Olfa. Love you. And I, I couldn't have done, I couldn't have got here without you. All your help, all your support. Amazing product. Thank you, Olfa. You're the best. You're, you're, you're the best. Love you. Just repping, repping them brands for all those dollar bills. Repping them brands for all them dollar bills. Yes, I am. Well, no dollar bills, but uh, repping them brands, hyping them, hyping them up. Hyping up 3M, hyping up Olfa, hyping up tofu snacks and seaweed snacks and tofu. Okay, lowering it down. Good thing I, I'm gonna get both of this. And, all right, right about there. Okay. Just gonna push down my tape here with these Henkel scissors pushing them down pushing the tape down. push it down good push can I get a really good want to get a really good seal here so we got we can fit some concrete in there no problem no problem okay we did it, we did it. We made the mold. Hype it up, hype it up. Now we gotta clean up all this single use plastic. Clean up the mess as fast as we can. Thank you for tuning in everyone to the longest YouTube video ever, or at least the longest YouTube video I've ever made. Oh man, this is long, but we did it. We made this mold out of single use plastics. It's on there, right? This is gonna everywhere. Now, challenge number two, how much concrete is in here? It's thin, it's gonna be super thin. Like there's places where we're literally down to, I don't know, a quarter inch, like uh, seven millimeters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure, was that right? Through that. Threw that number out in the air. Let's just go for it. How much? How much crete? How much gray matter? Here we go. My my best buddy. Gray matter. I love you. I love you. Yes. Making the mold is making the mold. Making 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 the mold. Making the mold is fun. Making the mold is fun, but the real fun for me is the crete i like making the crete so my my obsession with single use plastics is helping to uh i guess it's not my obsession my obsession with concrete it's tied with my obsession with single use use single single use plastic ah it's just fun making something out of concrete people love it when people they see things made out of concrete, they fall in love. And like, if you give a gift made out of concrete to someone, they'll love you. Think about it. That's enough. I think that's enough. That is enough. It's gotta be. 
Uh, how do we do this? On the table, in the bowl. Let's go on the table. I don't like going in the bowl. You know what? Let's start in the bowl. And then when it gets to the crumbly phase, we'll throw it onto the table. Oh. Sriracha water. You make my concrete so wet. That's the song. First, first verse of a song about sriracha water and concrete. It's not good. It's not good though. So what are the colors today? Oh, gray matter. I missed you. You and I. You, you were made for me. And in turn, I think made for other people too, but you were made for me first. And I'm eternally grateful. Oh, I love it. Here we go. Coming together. My buddy. I got safety gear on. Goggles. Masks. Bunch of them. Bunch of masks on. Uh, and gloves. Two gloves. Time to dump it out. It's Okay. Put you to the over there. Actually, you know what? We might have to go wet, wetter. Hmm. Let's keep some out. Let's keep some out for accent color. But then let's put the rest of this back in. Because because of this is so thin, I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna do a thing I, I seldom do. But I'm, I'm gonna mix my concrete a little bit wetter than usual. Because, just a little bit. But I really wanna make sure, there's a, there's a few tight spots. This sidewall, the sidewall right here on the mold is tight, really tight. It gets very, very thin. And I want concrete to actually flow down in there because there's a possibility sometimes, especially, especially, there's a possibility if your concrete is dry and there's a tight little place like that, there are, there are a few little rocks that could get bond, bind up in there and, oh, stop concrete from flowing. But, okay, see this? So this is, Still, still not totally, still not sticking to me. I can get it off just by touching it down a bit, but it's wetter, a little wetter than you're probably used to seeing. That should do. I'm worried I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm worried I don't have enough concrete. I hope you made enough concrete, but how much, how do you calculate? You could do a volume calculation, pour water in there, but this mold's not sealed up that good. So I'm not gonna use water displacement to do a volume calculation. How else could I do it? I suppose I could have done volume calculations of the two containers, container sizes that I used before I put them together. That's how I should have done it. I should have done, I could have just calculated the volume of the two of the containers before I put them together. There's three of the containers, two types of containers, three containers in total, calculate the volume, subtract the two inner containers from the outer container. I would have a volume measurement and I could accurately, accurately, I can accurately measure out my concrete. Why didn't I think of that? Oi, now I'm mad. Now I'm stomping mad. What's the last thing that made you stomping mad? All fired all the way up. You know what it is for me? It's not coming up with your volume calculation. A way to calculate your volume way ahead of time. I was trying to be spontaneous though. That's one of the issues with spontaneity is that sometimes you miscalculate, but not this time. Right everyone, this is always the grand mystery. This is, do you play this game with yourself? You're the, I, I could eyeball this, watch in hopes that someone sees you eyeballing said feet and is can then like congratulate you. You're like, you did that just by eyeballing? Yeah. Congratulations. Brilliant. I know. 
screwed it up the other 15 times. Oh, well, if I did miscalculate, I sure hope I have too much concrete. A little extra concrete I can deal with. Not enough concrete, and we're going through this whole thing again. We're gonna go a little more water. I added some pigment. My favorite combo, pigment combo right now is black and blue. Black and blue. I do love black and blue, I love it. And I like mixing them, the two of them together, black and blue, I mix them together. Why? Because when you mix black and blue together, you get a really cool black color, black-ish, but it's got like this midnighty old comic book blue hue to it. Oh, I love it. Amazing, that's amazing. Okay, now you, we need some contrast. You know what? So, I've been thinking about pigments and I like working with six pigments. I like black and white, red, yellow, blue. But these are primary colors, but I also use green. Green is another staple for me because I find that mixing green is actually a ton of work. Mixing a great base green is really, really hard. So I like having this green, which I'm like, this is kind of like a true right in the middle, bang on green. And I can add blue or yellow to it to make it how I want it to be leaning tone wise. But today I'm gonna mix a green, a light green, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want it to be bright, so I'm throwing a bit of white in there. A bit of white, and I'm mixing it from a yellow. So I'm gonna go heavy yellow, almost equal to how much white I put in there, that's a lot. And now I'm gonna throw just a wee bit, no, 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 not green. Oh shoot, right, a wee bit of blue. A corner, almost nothing. What kind of green is this going to be? Is it even going to be green? Okay, here we go. Mix it up. Yellow, blue, white should make green. You saw how much pigment I added. I rely pretty heavily on the pre-batch green. So I don't know what we're going to get here. But... I can tell you this much, if it's not green enough, we can add more blue. Okay. I don't see much blue at all yet. The yellow is, yeah, not the nicest, I don't think. Maybe it is. What if we just went with this yellow? But I want green. I want it to be just starting to become green. So let's go, let's get a little bit more blue here. Let's go, we can probably go decent shovel, judging off of how much that last one did. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be green. I know it. And, yeah, green. Okay, yeah, this is turning into a green. It's an interesting green this one is. Ooh, yeah, okay. So we've got like an avocado green. It's pretty cool. Let's keep some of it. I'm gonna keep a little bit of it up here. But let's, I'm gonna keep going. Should have kept that last one too. More blue. Okay, here we go. This one's coming together quick now. First, that one was avocado. This one is, now we're actually jumped into a green, a color or shade of green that makes the avocado look pretty yellow. But it was, I swear that that was green. Now I look at this and I'm like, that's kind of avocado. Let's do it again. Crazy like that. Let's do it again. More blue. This one's gonna be very, 
very, I think teal at this point. It's like, we're gonna, we're gonna jump into the blues at this point. Don't you think? We have to. Oh no, I've got a hole in my plastic. I have a plastic sheet that I'm working on here. Protect the table underneath or else me ma is gonna kill me. And, uh, okay. So, uh, it's still green. I'm gonna say it's still green. We got three fun greens here. Take a look. Got one, two, and three. Yummy. Yummy. Time to rumble. I'm gonna give this just a little, a little more. Let's get these pigments out of here and we're gonna have a pigment accident. Nobody wants that. And I added just a little bit more water into my base. I really want this to be fluid, real smooth, no voids. Plus, I'm gonna swirl in my greens so that you don't notice them. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Swirl them in, just throw them in on the top. Give that a little stir around. Scrape this off. You know what? I don't want to leave any of this behind. It's all beautiful. Put that in there. Run the knife through it a few times. And we're jumping right into this. Okay, here we go. Capping it. I want this concrete to flow. going. I think it's going to come out. I think it's going to pop my mold up. I hope not. It's going. There we go. Keep tapping. What was that? What was that noise? Oh, nothing. Keep tapping. Almost there, everybody. fired up about something and then I forgot. The concrete just kind of like, something about concrete, I think. <clears throat> I think this is gonna work. Although, I hope I have enough. I'm, I'm actually still in the back of my mind a little bit worried. Not in the back of my mind, in the front of it too. Just, it's, it's actually somewhat, I'm thinking about it because Oh, shaking this thing. There's concrete. Uh, we still got some. Oh, yo, why is it gotta be like this? I wanted to have a tiny bit extra. So I didn't have to have this feeling, the feeling of like, what if there's not quite enough and the thing I make doesn't turn out because Shit, because I didn't make enough concrete. Ah, uh, man. No. Oh, uh, no. Yep, I didn't. So we're gonna keep tapping with this hand. I got a little bit here, but it's still not gonna be enough. We're gonna keep tapping with this hand. I'm gonna reach over, that's water. Dang it. This is, this is turning into a real kitchen nightmare. Oh, oh, my cake pan's not full enough, Gordon. Not even gonna attempt that one. What a kitchen nightmare. Keep tapping that. Dang it. So this is why you do volume calculations, everyone. Cause you don't want to have a kitchen nightmare like me. Okay. 
okay. Oh, sriracha water. Help me out of this bind. Okay, just let that sit just for a second. Can't believe that. And now I'm probably gonna have too much, but who cares? Can you believe that? What a, what an amateur. This is just amateur. Ah, whatever. I guessed a little too tight. Being super conservative with my materials. I'm like, I don't wanna run out of concrete. Like dry the raw materials. I'm like, I treat them very dear. Too dear? Whatever. That time I heard a noise. There's somebody upstairs, but that's okay. It's a different, uh, a different. I think there's office. There's like offices above the studio. I sure hope that was that one. Oh man, it was. It was like if someone. It sounded like someone sneezed. I'm sure I would have heard something. Can't get in here. It's not that. This place is very secure. Very secure studio. So not just anyone can just get in at any, all hours. A little more. Kind of see my, I can see the air. You know what's happening right now? The, the little plastic cups inside, the more concrete I put in here, I can tell now what's going on. I'm squishing them 100%. I'm squishing the little, con I'm going to stop. Okay, we're stopping. I gotta be. It seems like I just keep putting it in. And it's like, every time I put a little bit more in, I'm like, oh, I think that's enough. And it's like, huh, now what? Now it's all sunk again. What, what just happened? I don't know, just tuck a little more in there. A little more in there. Okay, that's... Let's quit there. Don't push our luck. We're gonna catch this on the cured side, everyone. What did we make? That was a long project. We did it together. We made some concrete stuff. I'll catch you uh, when this is cured. Four hours, probably longer, because I'm gonna go to bed. Concrete friends, welcome. It's time to demold our, uh, our thing. You think it turned out? This is the moment of truth. This is the fun, the reveal. Quick drink of coffee. Mm. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> so to do the demold, I'm just gonna flex. I used a flexible bottom. I like using this piece of plastic for the bottoms of tape on molds because I can flex it off and it's non-porous, but tape will still stick to it pretty well. But being able to flex your mold, really important. If you can't flex your mold, some things are not going to demold. Oh, wouldn't that be the worst? Uh, and this demold, kind of in there. Sometimes you just say, okay, I've already cut a chunk of this piece of plastic up. So I'm going to take the rest of this and I'm going to cut it up. Whoa. Oh man. So this thing, oh, I think we're going to go two parter on this. I'm going to do another quick. Okay. Yes. Very cool. What do we do? Oh, oops. There. Into the recycling. 
Uh, what do we do? Oh, we. Oh, there's plastic in there still. Okay. But the outside. That's pretty wow. We look at the texture we pulled off that plastic. And look at this crazy, like, moon. Oh, I like the color. I'm into this across the board. I'm gonna, I got plans. I got plans for this. It's, oh man, what am I gonna do? Okay, let's get the rest of this. Let's get the rest of this demolded. Let's get, don't get too excited. Don't get too excited and lose focus. Ah, now this is nice too, because these are, yeah, yeah. Relatively easy just to flex. I can just get under the edge. Come on. <laughs> oh, that one in my mouth. Yeah, that one's. Eh, I might use those again. I got a lot of those, but there's always a use. Those things are useful. Great container. And there we go. Single use, plastic, double tray bowl dish thing catch it's pretty uh yeah it's got some very cool colors going on oh my goodness so we made this that's where the cut that cut from the beginning that's what i'm doing right now we're cutting to it boom Okay. Oh, grand success. Do I have a chunk of, yeah, let this chill. I'd like to maybe wet polish out the, uh, the edge on this. There's just a little bit of, that edge is a little bit sharp. So I think we're gonna take that down. Let's, let's just do a quick test. Let's see, come on. Ah, we don't have any sandpaper here. Okay, this will be a revisited, I think. Yeah, we can do a quick revisit and I'll sand this edge and just shh, shh, shh. The bottom, I don't think I'm gonna do much. I would have liked to have not had this air void here. But I actually think even with the air void, it's pretty stable. And if we wanted to, we could put a little bit of felt pad on here. But you know what? I don't think I'm going to. I think it's great just like this. Bang. What a, what a, ah. Oh, and I think I found a new color that I'm like, I'm doing this. I'm going to do this color on something. Yeah. Well, thanks, everybody. That was a great. We had great fun and <clears throat> I think we all learned something new. There's a great, look how, look how narrow that gets. What a great sidewall. What a great piece. This is a great piece. So I hope you had as much fun as I did making this or at least watching me make it. And oh, I cannot wait to just put little bits in there. Maybe this is a side-by-side -side planter. I don't know what it is. Amazing. That's amazing. Crushed it, huh? Big win. I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Thanks everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the Joy of Concrete. I'm Mr. Concrete Concrete, and uh, you know if you liked what we made today, leave a comment below or hit the like button or subscribe or just tell a friend or don't do anything. Watch another video. I don't care. Thanks for tuning in. If you took the time to watch a video today, never mind. You don't have to do a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but thank you for tuning in today and watching a video. I'm not going to, you don't have to. Am I supposed to ask? It's just good. It's just good to hang out. Let's put it that way. It's just good to hang out. I will see you later. I'll see you later. And yeah, hope you had a good rest of your day. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And if you see something concrete in the world that's fun, tell me about it. I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear from you. And I'd love to hear about uh, 
or anything. Is there just something in the world you're excited about right now? Tell me about it. Okay. Bye-bye.